let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a function f which is defined on close interval 0 comma 1 okay and which is defined as f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. They have given us a partition and we have to find upper sum only okay u p n of f with partition p n. First of all, we will try to draw the graph of that function and after that we will discuss about its upper sum okay. So what we have let me write we have normally to draw the graph we replace f of x by y so we'll have y is equal to 2x plus 1. You can see here power of y is 1 power of x is also 1 that means it represents a straight line. So to find a line we need to have any two points on the line so that's why to find points I'm drawing this table okay having three rows and three columns x y x y. So using this table, we have to find any two points on a line. So by joining them, we will have the given line. Okay. So purposely, what will I do? I will put here starting point and ending point 0 and 1. If I put x is equal to 0 here, y will be 1. So the point is 0 comma 1. If I put x is equal to 1, y will be 3. So 1 comma 3. Let us find the points here. Okay. So 0 comma 1, 0 comma 1 is here and 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 will be here okay 1 comma 3 let us join them by a line so this is a given line we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 okay so the partitions are also given to us let me show you okay so partitions are 0 1 by n getting let me draw it properly so we have a, okay see first is 1 by n getting second is 2 by n right next one will be 3 by n i will write uh, ith interval okay so that means here we will have i minus 1 by n and this one will be i by n so this type of partition we have here right okay so some partitions will be there so see here clearly clearly let me mention delta x i okay delta x i is equal to 1 by n delta x i that means length of a sub interval which is 1 by n obviously since as you can see here 0, 1 by n, 2 by n, 3 by n that means the length of each interval is 1 by n so delta x is equal to 1 by n after that we will calculate capital M i let us find now now capital M i capital M i its definition is supremum of f of x right where x i minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x i this is the definition of capital M i so supremum f of x right x i minus 1 that means here we will have i minus 1 by n less than or equal to x x i that means ith point will be i by n so i put their values here see you can see here is easily the function is increasing getting the function is increasing so if you talk about the first sub interval 0 comma 1 by n tell me at which point the function will have maximum value See clearly at 1 by n the function will have maximum value since function is increasing. If you talk about the second interval 1 by n comma 2 by n. So in this interval also at point 2 by n function will get its maximum value. So that means what I want to say at the right end of interval the function will attain its maximum value since the function is increasing. So in this case also same thing will happen get it. So let me write it here. So this is equal to at i by n function will have the maximum value. So at i by n, okay, at right end of interval. So that's why f of i by n. So how to find f of i by n? It's very simple. We have the definition of f, no? So let us put x is equal to i by n. So we will have this is 2i by n plus 1. Using this definition at a place of x, we put i by n. So in this way, we got mi and this is true for all i running from 1 to n. Let me mention here for all i running from 1 to n so now i will go for the required thing that is u p n of f okay u p n of f do you know its definition its definition is summation capital m i delta x i let me put the definition here summation i running from 1 to n okay capital m i delta x i what is capital m i capital m i we have calculated right now 2 i by n plus 1 so we have to put that value here and delta x is equal to its value is 1 by n so that value also we have to put there okay make a screenshot of it then we will go further so here i put the values of capital m and delta x i okay so let us simplify it further 
So we'll solve the bracket first. So this is equal to summation i running from 1 to n. I'm solving the bracket 2i by n square plus 1 by n. So addition is there. You know that we can take separate separate addition. So this is equal to summation i running from 1 to n 2i by n square plus summation i running from 1 to n 1 by n. Okay. So we took separate summations. See, we can take terms which are independent on i, we can take them outside. So here 2 is a constant, we can take it outside. That n square is also independent on i, so we can take it outside. So let us take them outside, okay. So we'll have summation i running from 1 to n, i only. Here 1 by n is independent on i, so you can take it outside. So we will have only 1 since the entire term we have taken outside. Let us expand the summation now, let us see what will happen. I am expanding the summation. So 2 by n square we have, right? So we are adding, okay, i. I am putting i is equal to 1. So 1. If I put i is equal to 2, we will have 2. If I put i is equal to 3, we will have 3 plus and so on. The last term is n. Since i varies from 1 to n. Let us talk about the second summation. See, there is 1 only. Here also I am counting i is equal to 1, i is equal to 2, i is equal to 3. But there is no any term of i. So simply we need to add 1, 1, 1, 1, n number of times, get it? So we'll have 2 by n square. See, we are adding first n natural numbers. Do you know the formula for addition of first n natural numbers? Its formula is n into n plus 1 by 2, right? Plus 1 by n into, we are adding 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus n times. So their addition will be n, right? So we'll have n. So 2, 2 will get cancelled, 1, n will get cancelled. So n plus 1 by n only, by ca cancelling this 2 and n also. So for second term, n, n will get cancelled and we will have 1 only. Let us divide separately n by n, 1 plus 1 by n plus 1. So if you add, so 2 plus 1 by n. So this is required answer, okay? This is required value of upn, f. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.